Hello folks, it's that time again. Wibbling us off today was Star Glider on the Spectrum. It's amazing how in those days a game with the simplest wireframe graphics could just reek of atmosphere when you played it. It also came with a mini novel which made the world feel that much more alive. Moving on now to the featured game, and I have to say that it's not before time. I've played a track from this game before, but it has such awesome music that it deserves a lot more coverage than that. From Technosoft and the Mega Drive, this is Herzog Zwei. Next on the list is Marvel Land, a cute arcade platform game by Namco, set in a freaky theme park where everything is out to get you. It's quite a challenging game, as one hit kills you, but because it handles quite loosely, this does get a bit annoying to be honest. It was also converted to the Mega Drive, which wasn't a bad version, but it never really hit greatness in any form. Thank you. 
return now to Herzog's Y. For those who have never played it, it's one of the earliest real-time strategy games where you have to take control of bases on the map and finally defeat your enemy by destroying his main control centre. If this sounds a bit dry, it isn't. The gameplay is very action oriented as you have to fly units out yourself and drop them and you can also transform into a robot on the ground and do a bit of butt kicking yourself. One of the finest pieces of arcade music, mixed with the finest talents on the 8-bit scene. This is what happens when you mix East and West on a computer that really has no right to be producing sound this good. Turbo Outrun on the Commodore 64. Oh, and if you need a pee, I'd go now, because it's not the shortest tune in the world. Run.
OutRun. What was that you ask? It was the cutesy Gallagher-esque arcade game Cosmo Gang the Video. Something I played and enjoyed for brief periods in my youth. But again I feel the immense gravitational pull of Herzog's Vi. I can't stress how much of a classic this game is, and I can't fathom why they haven't made a proper sequel for Xbox Live or WiiWare or something. Come on Technosoft, pull your finger out.
Staying with somewhat strategic titles, there was a superb turn-based sci-fi strategy game on the Speccy called Rebel Star Raiders. When the Amiga was in full bloom, this game received a spiritual successor in the form of Laser Squad. My mate Dave was obsessed with that, though not as much as Herzog's wife. But it was pretty cool if you like that sort of thing. Over. But before I go, I have a bit of news to hand out. I've just completed work on a little online magazine called PC Engine Gamer. It's got reviews and features and stuff, and isn't really very serious. If you're interested, then you can have a read over at pcengine.co.uk. If you're not interested, take a look anyway. You might like it despite yourself. Of course, in celebration of this event, I've managed to play uh, no PC Engine tunes this time. This final track is the ending from Herzog's Y, and ranks up there with the best endgame tunes there are, and it really confirms the talent that Technosoft had at the time. Shove this up your lug holes. Mm -hmm.